We're here at Enjoy Labs. Carlton, Pierre, what have you guys been up to? Well, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, years, this three years later. Uh, although I wasn't there three years ago, but okay. So just a bit of background. We actually interviewed um, Carlton three years ago at the EB Expo in 2013, and yeah, we're just surprised that we see you today. So it's, it's, it's good to catch up. And surprisingly, this is our first expo since three years ago. Right. So we came out of the shadows. So what have you been up to since 2013? Yeah. Well, since 2000, well, 2013, the game was like 40 percent done. So unfortunately it took three years to actually actually complete Cell Surgeon and we've actually released it finally this year, early this year in March. So now Cell Surgeon is out and into the field and now we're just sort of showcasing it, trying to get it out there. And then at the same time we've already moved on to our next project which is Hungry Pets and we're also showing it here today and that's going to hopefully be a shorter development time. And then, yeah, that's even coming out hopefully in two more months as well. That's on both platforms, iOS and Android? Yep, so we focus on the mobile platform, so both iOS and Android is our specialty. So Pierre, what role do you play in regards to Android Labs? So I, I'm, uh, I'm the music composer, I score the games, all of, all of the Enjoy Lab games. Uh, I do a little tiny bit of sound design uh, and moral support. So that's, what, that's why I'm here. Yeah, it's a big moral support. Yeah, um, yeah. Carlton and I actually went to high school together, and uh, when I started moving away from you know death metal and other crazy musical uh, imaginings that I was into, I decided, oh, I really like games. I'd really like to write. I'd like to score a game, and so I, a friend, a housemate, a few years ago said, oh, hop on to IGDA Sydney. You'll find someone there. And then I hopped on and one of the first names I saw was Carlton Zoo. I was like, oh, Carlton, I went to school with you. And he said, oh, I need a composer. So match made in heaven, sort of. Um, yeah, and, uh, and then, uh, you know, as, as game three, four now rolls on, it's Carlton, myself, uh, and a cast of thousands to kind of go along with. I mean, Carlton's, Carlton is still the brains of the operation and I think it should stay that way, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm more than happy to, to, to support everything that Carlton does, man. It's it, everything. He, he's, he's, yeah, it's been amazing what, what you've put out, and I'm, I'm more than happy to write the music for it. Yeah. That's great to hear. Hey, you mentioned earlier on uh, off camera that this is your first convention that you've been to of, yes. of, of this of this type. Yes. What are your feelings regarding? Like, are you are you overwhelmed, underwhelmed? Are you is it, is it something new? It's uh, I, it's it's just about what I expected. I've got a few friends that are into uh, pop culture conventions. Uh, and, you know, I, I personally am not into the cosplay side of things, obviously. Uh, I, I'm only very good at being myself. Uh, but, no, yeah, it's, 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 it's essentially met my, uh, my expectations. But, uh, you know, like I was saying to you before, Indy, everyone's extremely friendly, everyone's quite harmless. And, you know, like I said, you know, I've been hanging out at death metal concerts and big festivals where there's a lot of crazy people. And it's, I mean, there are crazy people here too, but they're, they're a different kind of crazy there. They're a safe crazy, yeah. yeah. Now, Carlton, um, you mentioned earlier on that it's 40% done in 2013, yeah. and now it's fully complete yeah. and everything. So what are the features or how, like, how big have you made this game? Ah, uh, well, it's probably totally different than what you saw back in 2013. So part of the, probably the biggest features that's added to the game is a storyline. So one of the big features of this game is we had these in-game cutscenes and it's like a 10 minute long in-game rendered character animation cutscene and storyline. So because of all that, we had to like bring in all kinds of people to help. Pierre did the sound, we hired like script writers, we hired animators, we got like voice actors and this. So that made up most of the bulk of the workload to sort of convey a story. So one thing we've learned though is like in order to have a story for a game, there's actually a lot of work to make that story right and so we certainly got a lot of uh, from the reviews that I've been reading about cell surgeon like we certainly have had a lot of acknowledgement on the fact that we did go about a narrative and and, and voice actors and, and and that the right way because obviously a lot of people I think just get like a you know a headset mic and, and read all these really poorly written lines out by themselves and then edit them together and it just yeah, I've played some games where the cutscenes and the narrative are, are pretty, pretty Z-grade. <laughs> I like to, and you know, I don't want to talk it up too much, but I think that the, 
the, what Cell Surgeon has is actually something special and something of a, of a caliber. Mm. So any, I don't, this might be a bit of a touchy issue, but any sequels in the future, possibly? Cell Surgeon is actually a, for us like this is out. We're working. We've been working on four games now, and Cell Surgeon, I'd say, is one of the more challenging games to make. This is because it is, has storytelling and it has a lot of complex mechanics. And because of that, the game was actually quite limited in the sort of the levels that we can make, because every level takes a lot of craft to make. And because of that, I think we only got about six, 26 levels, which lasts about two hours of gameplay. But otherwise, all the other games, we've figured out a better formula. And because of that, like we can have hundreds of levels really easy, because the design is very straightforward. But yeah, for Cell Surgeon, we'll probably just have to have, and it's got a good closure as well. The storyline has like a nice ending. So that's I, think, what they I think if you play the game, you uh, and you follow the narrative through the cutscenes, you will definitely see that. Yes, when you get to the end of gameplay, you, you will definitely see that. Yes, it could go somewhere. There is a string that's out there that you can follow onwards. But again, it's it's um, obviously it's whether we commit to uh, going back in, you know taking the drawing board up again and trying to think of some new ideas to go forward rather than just rehashing all the same kind of level designs over again. And the character is really cool, like, yeah, I always really like the character of the main game of Cell Surgeon is Dr. Rylus, so he has a lot of potential to be used in probably, it doesn't even have to be the same genre of game, but I think, yeah, I really like the character and hope to see him expand if possible. Uh, so moving on from Soul Surgeon, so you moved on, you've created about four games so far, or you're yeah. still in the process of the fourth. Uh, what are some of the other games that you've created? Yeah, so actually right after 2013 we actually stopped Soul Surgeon for a bit, right? And then we, that was the days of Flappy Birds, when they came, you know when you wake up and you're like, damn, everywhere's Flappy Birds, right? And so suddenly everyone was like, that's just a simple game, we could totally make a simple game which could have taken us a week because Flappy Bird was quick to make and then do something. So we jumped down and make a small game called Draw Box. Draw Box and that was like very similar to Flappy Bird. It's like a very hard arcade score based game. And that took six months out of our time to do. And then we resumed Cell Surgeon and finished that. So now we're working on two new projects. One is Hungry Pets. So Hungry Pets is our third game. And then behind the scenes we're working on a new game. It's called Matchy Matchy, and that's a fourth game. Could you possibly tell us a little bit about it, or is it oh, yeah. sort of early? No, no, it's all good. Like, we don't have a build here to show today, but Matchy Matchy is a match two game. <laughs> so, Cell Surgeon is a unique match four game, and then Matchy Matchy is a match two game. So, it's sort of like pairing it up. Sounds very straightforward, but it's actually a very popular genre, and then we're going to try multiplayer and all that. So, that's going to be an interesting thing. So far, all the games up to now has always been improving. So, Cell Surgeon is better than Drawbox. Hungry Pets is actually kind of better than Cell Surgeon in terms of fun gameplay. And then I'm starting to feel that Matchy Matchy is better than Hungry Pets as well. So, hopefully, it just keeps upgrading from there. Certainly, with every game that we develop, it, we, it, it gets a little bit better every time, but we're also learning every stage. And, and that's not just the programming and, and the art and, and how much to bite off opposed to how much you can chew, which was the case with Cell Surgeon, that's why it took four years. But also I think, um, you know, with other things too, being a, being a startup, you know, marketing, um, knowing what to push and what not to, you know, all, all those little things. It's like the business side as well as the creative side. It's, it's, so, it's so many other things. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, and, and you know, uh, dare I quote a certain someone, but they say that game number five might, might be the one that, that might kind of push up above the surface. So, Matchy Matchy is number four, so maybe number five, we, could, we might, but, and we're learning, we're learning those stages, so maybe, who knows, maybe number five. Yeah, maybe we're, we're hoping five. that out, because yeah, they say it takes about five games to go big, yeah. so we're eyeing on the fifth game. So, currently on our fourth, oh, and then let's see how we do on the fifth one. We're, we're certainly realistic about it, though. I mean, we, we understand that it's you know that you have to obviously you have to spend the time to, to, to develop, and you have to acknowledge what you could have done better last time, and write that down, and make sure you don't do it again. I suppose. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. We'll definitely check it out. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks.
Uh, Thank you. And see you next. See you in three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sooner. Let's yeah. hope sooner. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Indy. Thanks, Indy. Take care. Nice to see you again.